Okay, happy new camera. Uh, I'm going to head off down that path that I was down there the other day, but I like to do a little section of field. Um, I get bored, so I only do them in little sections. And so far I've turned up a very nice, very nice button. Um, uh, 82, quite substantial. Not sure of battery life, so uh, doing them in groups. A uh, strip of lead, um, another bit of lead, I think that's off a window. Uh, 19, 1916, George Five Penny, first coin, and a button, nice button. Big substantial button, look at that. A half P and a very strange, gotta get this right. A very strange coin there. Uh, I'm not sure it's. It could be anything. Could be. Could be early Georgian. Could be William. Um, I'll have to see when I get home. Right. I'm. I'm where I want to be at the moment. But uh, I had a look along the top of that field, and my God, down here is worse than a junkite field. Vicky half penny and that were it. I think that's a very very large door on that. But over here, down that lane in the bottom of that valley there was a mill. And the other day uh, I was up in that field there on the straight line direct to this gate and I figured hey they're coming from there, straight across, and right down here. And I haven't done these two fields, so I'm going to have a walk up here, which was the old path, see if I can get anything. You know, the best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> hey, a half P token. I'll have to go figure out what that says. Well, it looks like I was right. I'm only about 20 feet into this walk. Okay, we did that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but, oh, by the same token, <laughs> I got a token. Uh, I'm back in this field, which is it's quite a productive field here. From that, from there, that post, this way is great. The other way, nothing. I, I mustn't be on the right line. But I've just found a, a clog clasp. Uh, a bit wider than normal. Well, they've definitely been eating here. The old uh, silver plated fork. You do when a bull chews your rucksack, you let it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, I'm just following up this path, and uh, that's got to be Georgian. My God. If that ain't Georgian, it's Roman. <laughs> and I doubt that. Ah, it was only about an inch down on this well, really well trodden path. That's another Georgian. I've hardly moved ten feet. I think I'm on the path. Well, one of the reasons I think this is Anglo-Saxon type land is that there's a a very, very old Anglo-Saxon cross, look, built into the wall. What a belter, eh? Well, I've kept the filming to a minimum today because I, I wasn't quite sure what was happening with this new camera. And it's taken me, believe it or not, three and a half hours to actually get these into a format uh, very devious where I can actually use them on, on filmmaking. But we'll got there in the end. <laughs> I've had a brilliant day. 
Oh yeah, I'm get, definitely getting back in time, definitely. Let's have a look at the junk height. Uh, copper strip, lead, more bits of lead. I always pick them up, you never know what they are. A uh, draw pull there, very substantial, heavy. Uh, just a, a metal disc. But of course, <laughs> detector says, hey, it's round, pick it out. Bit of junkite, a uh, bit more junkite, whatever it is. Bit more tiny junkite, <laughs> bit of triangular junkite, and uh, a fork, long, long pronged fork. Look, so <laughs> actually, junkite goes that's not bad at all. A um, bit of lead there, very interesting. Um, that's more window lead actually, and when I first got it out before I washed it, there was, there was burnt wood in it. Um, jet black burnt so I figure hey maybe that farmhouse burned down always looking for things in lead never find them <laughs> well I have but <laughs> uh, but oh, keep looking keep looking little tiny stud um, bigger stud uh, ordinary button Quite a nice bronze button there, and a ginormous button look. Uh, really nice. Oops. Really impressive button. Big, big, big. Doing well. And a clock clip. That looks like Chinese, doesn't it? In the pattern. Oh, is that a little fella down there? Um, can't really tell. It's much wider, much bigger, much wider than um, than uh, I normally pick up. Where shall we go from here? Let's have a look at coins. A uh, little half p, a ten p. Somebody's walking the dog, but that's an old ten p, old, old, old. A ship half penny. Uh, I didn't include this in the uh, in the film because the wind was blowing that much and this being a new camera I got a lot of wind noise but well, that's 1944 ship half penny um, I always thought it was the Mayflower but I've been informed it's the Golden Hind uh, Francis Drake's ship uh, you know <laughs> our famous English pirate <laughs> oh dear now, coin-wise, oh, going back in time, this one, 1916, 1883, 1862 half-penny, um, a half-penny token, and it's the uh, Keithley Industrial Co-op Society Limited and it's half P not a half P it's a half pence look about 1860 I think something like that Eight, 1861 maybe it came into existence so it's quite old token uh, Georgian can't be anything else but I can't make anything out on that. So we're looking about 1800. Here we're, um, we've got a, a nine, I think it's um, 1806, maybe 1807, Georgian half penny. Uh, and then this. This is the one I said, hey, this is a really strange coin. Well, that person you can see on there, look, it's his head. That is William III. And we're looking about oh, 1696, something like that. Uh, just before 1700. 
halfpenny to William the Third. 310 years old at least. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Strange metal. It, it's smooth and all. The Georgians, uh, they've, they've grotted away, but this, this is smooth, smooth, smooth. But is, you know, you, you can't mistake him. Okay. Now, the piece de resistance for the hunt is this. It's a bronze medieval ring. It's a little love ring. Uh, I'm not too sure whether actually one of the stones is still in there. In there, look. But when I got this, it was inside a little pouch, look. See the pouch? And if you look careful, you can see the little holes where it was stitched together. I was wondering what this brass ring was doing inside layers of, of cloth. But they're not. They're, they're, uh, they are definitely leather, look. And this little ring was held in this little pouch. Tremendous. Now I've no, no qualms about that being medieval. That is, that is an old, old, old item. And probably the oldest thing today. Even older than William III. So, getting back in time. Um, I've got a good idea where I'm going to go next up there. But hey, hey, there we go. 1690, blah, 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 7, 98, maybe even 1700, <laughs> but uh, going some, William the Third. So all I can say is keep going, keep persistent, like the old uh, jammy git says, <laughs> keep walking and keep, keep swinging and you'll find them. So happy hunting fellas. Uh, I'm not too sure if I like this wide um, angle video, but we'll work on it. Until I see you next time. Bye.